the people, I am Ed Page and I have a box. Now you may be wondering where this box came from. If the box doesn't already say, oh, it says Australia on the thing. <laughs> but this box actually came from one of my YouTube friends, Raptormon132, and he is absolute legend. Like, uh, editing me, go back and, and pull up the receipt. How much did it cost in Australian postage? Wow. And for the Murricans, that amounts to $56.50, roughly speaking. Holy crap. Now that's a good friend. Yeah, very good friend. Now, before I show off any of the goodies that are packed inside, I'll give you the backstory. It all started with Bluey episode, season two, episode one, Hammer Barn. In this episode, the Healer family goes to the titular Hammer Barn to buy a new pizza oven. While Bandit goes to pick one out, Chili goes shopping around with Bluey and Bingo, and shenanigans ensue. It's probably another Bluey. Now this Hammer Barn place is actually based on a real hardware store chain in Australia called Bunnings. And apparently, as a show of appreciation, or likely some easy cross promotion, for the entire month of February 2024, a select number of Bunnings locations were converted into Hammer Barns for real life. Born and bred in Brisbane, the world's favourite cartoon Blue Heeler pup teaming up with another Aussie icon. <laughs> This store in Capera is exactly where the episode was based on. Stepping beyond the screen, the month-long takeover featuring limited edition merchandise. Lots of kids DIY classes, colouring in competitions, scavenger hunts. And visits from the stars. <laughs> Bluey is such an iconic brand and customers love it, kids love it, families love it. Everything about Bluey is a love letter to Brisbane. And so many families ever since that aired in 2020 come in and refer to Bunnings <laughs> as Hammer Barn. So we knew that a collaboration with Bluey would be something we'd really love to do. And the BBC approached us about uh, selling some of the garden gnomes. <laughs> we spitballed a few ideas and we've come up with doing a full Bunnings takeover for Hammer Barn. We really wanted to make this accessible to as many families as we could. So we've got one full Hammer Barn Barn takeover in every state. So obviously here in Capera it's fully it's fully taken over. The front of the stores changed, our aprons have changed, all the trolleys and everything have changed as well. But in case you couldn't tell, I'm American, which means you probably think I'm an idiot. It also means I have no possible way of going to a Bunnings to pick up any of this. And that's where Raptor came in clutch like the true hero he is. Uh, I mean, he didn't even tell me all of what was going to be in this thing. He just told me it was going to be some bluey stuff and some other amazing stuff. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just dive into this here Fort Knox of tape. I think I might start by pulling from the top and then go from there. It's not the first time I've gotten a gift from a friend on the internet, but this is the first time I'm filming it because like, you know, the circumstances finally aligned. Uh, yeah, there's so much tape. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present, except the present is wrapped in fly paper. Right, and I actually had to sign for this one, which is a first for me. Uh, God, I'm tearing the box up. Oh God, if I'm not careful, I might actually reveal a label or something. Crap, it's stuck to my finger. Ooh. Oh, there, okay. Okay, a flap is exposed, a flap is exposed. We're, we're getting there, slowly but surely, one step at a time. Oh, right, right. There's more tape on the corner? I got scissors. Oh, there's the tape. All right, finally, the treasure, come on! Oh, I have to go all around the top, don't I? Come on, point the scissors away from your face. That is MP to safety. That is MP to safety tip of the day. There we go. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. Safety was clearly a major concern, and it shows. 
Alright, hey, first thing, uh, oh, we got some hats from Bunnings. I think, think Dad might like that. Bunnings, that's the hardware store in Australia. I think like Menards, except with a less ridiculous name. And they actually have a, a hammer bar logo on the brim. That, that's actually pretty clever. Okay, what else we got? Um, oh, what's this? Oh, this one got a bit squished here. Self saucing chocolate pudding? Huh, I didn't know. I, like, I don't know what self saucing means. Uh, it, it must be some Australian thing that I'm not aware of. Yeah, I'm also gonna have to translate these temperatures because they use degrees Celsius and we don't use degrees Celsius in well, America. Our what? Do. Our thermometers do, but our ovens don't because we're American, land of the free and home of the Whopper. More bubble wrap. Oh, another one! Uh, self sauce and butterscotch pudding. We got chocolate pudding, we got butterscotch. So this, yeah, they, they really love pudding, don't they? I just realized the inside joke. <laughs> um, wait, what's this? Hammer Barn inbuilt squeaker? Oh, it's a, it's a dog toy. Yeah, it's always appreciated. Little update for those that wanted to know what the squeaker sounded like. The children's birthday cake book from Women's Weekly, and I think there's, I, if I if I remember correctly, there's a page marked here. There it is. It's a duck cake from the duck cake episode. It, this is the exact cookbook. Look at this. It's a duck cake. Yeah, really hard to do though. Challenge you to do it. <laughs> Maybe later. Oh, it's one of the garden gnomes from the show. This one's named Tony. Um, I'm looking, let's see here. Like, it, it says it's a garden gnome. I assume it goes outside. It feels like a real garden gnome. Well, it's like... I mean, I don't know if it... I think it's heavy enough. Um, they got the tag that says Bluey Hammer Barn, and everywhere I look, it... It doesn't say you shouldn't use it as a garden gnome, it just says it's a garden gnome. There's like four of these that you can get. Yeah, I've, I've seen people sell the whole set and try and scalp it for like hundreds of dollars. And, and, and Raptor here, if this is what I think it is, um, he was only able to get two. But quite frankly, I'm just grateful he was able to get any. Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh! Uh, but God, I hope this wasn't... Uh, Please tell me it was broken on purpose. What? Like, there's like, like, like the top of this one's a bit damaged. No, not not like they break it and send it to you. Like it comes pre-broken. Oh, hold up! I hear the little pieces in there. I don't think this was on purpose. Well, put it on the side for now. Oh, it doesn't even say what this one's name is. I think it's Hecuba. Yeah. God. I guess that's what happens when you don't vet your shipping company. Someone's husband gets it. This is what happens when you aren't happy with what you've got. Someone's husband eventually gets it. And of course we got some little fig bluey figurines. We got a muffin. Um, I think this is Rusty. Uh, there's Bluey. Is that Bluey? No, that's Bandit, I think. I... I... I I can read. Snickers, who's like a sausage dog. I call him a long dog. There's Bluey. And Bingo. Chloe, poodle. Oh, they did? And Chili. Well, honestly, uh, thanks Raptor for setting all this. And, and, and I swear I'll pay you back for postage. I'm not sure how, but some way we'll work something out. I'm a man of my word and you know it. But until the next video, thank you all for watching. Check you later. If you're in America, remember to vote. Peace.